morning guys welcome to a new episode thank you for watching and today i'm gonna do a recap about my 70.3 my first 70.3 ironman and season my first season in triathlon from zero to 70.3 athlete so let's go so the plan was to do a three races this year uh, olympic distance ironman 70.3 and the full ironman end of the year in australia However, because of pandemic, the first race, Olympic, Olympic distance were cancelled. Same as the last race, Ironman Western Australia was held only for the, for the local athletes and were cancelled for the internationals. So I started my season in, um, in Cyprus. I spent a nine month and had a good 20 weeks training plan for training camp, sorry, for 70.3. The race went quite well, and let's talk a little bit in depth about my first race, Ironman Cheria. I was very nervous on that day, very nervous, and uh, the food, uh, the breakfast didn't get well in. Uh, nicely, there was. I think that's very normal when you have a first race. I was nervous just until I did my swim warm up. Straight after that, all the nerves just disappeared and. You know, when the music were playing and everyone were clapping, um, I was really excited. I was really excited and um, and I did my swim quite well. Swim my best, I did a PB one minute faster than I ever did on a training. Uh, the heart rate was crazy high only on transitions. It was like 185, 190 and took me a while on the bike to drop my heart rate. Um, but yeah, I found my feet some after 20 kilometers. Again, did close to PB on the bike. And well, unfortunately, get sick on a run. A second and third kilometer was a bit vomiting. But then, uh, you know, I fight it through from my guts. And, and I did no bad run, only five minutes slower than my uh, half mile from PB. So quite happy with that. The plan was for do anything anything faster than sub 5 459 it was one one minute one minute slower than that well basically what happened on a swim someone kicked my watch and um, I didn't know the right time or where I am so I tried to guess where am I and when I finished I look at that watch and it was like 501 something so yeah quite happy with that you know considering the beginning of the year I had no bike and I had no bike for the last 25 years beginning of the year I couldn't swim and I'm doing now quite easy four kilometers. So from zero to 70.3, I think I did quite well. Um, Ironman Western Australia were canceled and I got the deferral to Ironman Taupo in New Zealand. However, I got an email two weeks ago, it is also canceled. So I call it a season. I call it the season and I'm going now to off season and I also decide to do in the next 14 weeks I'm running 100 kilometer ultra marathon so I'm gonna concentrate now more on my run still gonna bike and occasionally when the sea is a bit more calm I'll go for the winter swim um that was my only race well I'm not gonna say unfortunately you know universe knows better than me so quite happy with the race I finished in the top 200 from 1,500 athletes are placed in the 200 and I think only 17 ladies overtook me, quite happy with that. Um, also did my PB on a marathon this year in February, it was a virtual marathon so I did run on my own. Also did uh, David Loggins 48 and 48 so it's 4 miles every 4 hours for the 48 hours. So it was a quite good endurance season. Could be more races, but it is what it is. <sighs> Plans for the next year probably will tell you in my next video. For now, I want to say thank you for watching. Like the videos and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.